members. Um, it is time to make a start. We have uh, attained the quorum. First of all, uh, I wish you all um, a good um, year in 2013. Item number one, confirmation of uh, the minutes of um, the 11th meeting. I have received uh, no proposed amendments. Can I take the minutes as confirmed? Thank you. Matters arising, meeting with uh, the CS. Uh, we met with um, the acting uh, CS and we uh, relate um, the question as to whether the um, Q&A session of the CE on um, the unauthorized um, structures um, counted um, towards the four um, Q&A uh, sessions for the CE. The answer to the question was a no. All right, no question. Let's move on to business arising from the previous council meetings. A legal Service Division report on subsidiary legislation gazetted on December 14th and tabled in council on December the 19th. Legal advisor, please. Uh, Chairman, uh, may I refer members to paper LS14? Uh, there are four items there. The first one is um, the minimum wage ordinance, uh, amendment of um, Schedule 3, notice uh, 2012, uh, LN 186. And the purpose is um, to increase um, the minimum hourly wage from uh, $28 to 30 uh, come the 1st of May. And uh, let's go, um, can uh, repeal, can revoke it, but cannot amend it. The next one is LN 187, uh, with the increase in the um, statutory minimum wage to $30. Um, the Records of uh, hourly work. I mean, um, the the record um, uh, capped um, should be increased uh, from um, eleven thousand five hundred dollars per month to twelve thousand three hundred dollars per month. Uh, I'm wondering whether members um, see the need for a, a subcommittee. Mr. Wang Kuo-heng. Well, according to the legal advisor, um, the minimum wage um, notice. Uh, can be revoked uh, but cannot be amended, but I see the need uh, for a subcommittee to be formed. Uh, it was the legal advisor, not the um, SG. Um. Right, Mr. Wong proposes a subcommittee. You sit hold. Right, is second. Chairman, indeed, um, I go along with the idea of a subcommittee. We may not be allowed to amend it, but I think um, we should um, have a look at the logic um, underlying the whole proposal uh, to increase the statutory minimum wage. Uh, shall we deal with the two LNs um, together? Mr. Leung Yu Chong, you got a point to make? All right, I'd like to join. Okay, then the Secretary uh, will circulate um, further invitations. The 16th of um, January is the deadline for, for amendment. Uh, we can extend it. If um, this is extended, uh, we can um, extend it to uh, February the, the 6th. And we have to come back um, on January the 25th. Uh, so we have to uh, get on with it um, as um, efficiently as possible. And uh, Mr. Toh, the telecommunications um, regulation. Right, let's deal with this one first. Legal advisor, um, please. There are two more items, um, Chairman. Um, the second one is um, the Telecommunications Carrier Licenses Amendment Regulation 2012. Um, this is um, to reduce the annual fee payable for customer connections in respect of um, unified carrier licenses from $800 to $700 for each 100 customer connections. Under the law, the administration um, has uh, conducted consultation and has taken the proposal uh, to the panel uh, for consideration as set out in Paris 16 and 17. The uh, 
effective data will be um, the uh, 31st of December. Mr. To, right? I'm referring um, to the carrier license amendment, reg amendment regulation. I, I'd like to uh, talk about um, the exemption regarding the um, uh, the home users, right? That that will fall within the next uh, report. All right. Do you see the need for a subcommittee for this one? If not, um, legal advisor, please. Chairman, the last item in this report is the Club Safety of Premises Exclusion Amendment Order 2012. Chairman, um, the schedule to the club's uh, order uh, will be updated. Uh, that doesn't involve uh, major policy matters. Uh, February the 8th um, will be the implementation date. Right. If um, there is no need for a subcommittee, we have um, two items. Um, the commencement data will be um, the 16th of January, and we have um, decided to set, set up a subcommittee. And in my capacity as chairman of um, the House Committee, on the 9th of January, I'll be moving a motion to extend um, the scrutiny period to the 6th of February. All right, moving on next uh, to the Legal Services Division report on subsidiary legislation can set on December the 21st. Chairman, uh, please, uh, when members uh, refer to paper LS15, uh, there are four items. Uh, the first one is uh, the one referred to by Mr. James Toe, uh, telecommunications, telecommunications apparatus, exemption from licensing amendment order. And this is um, in relation to personal handy phone system uh, using the 1895 to 1906.1 megahertz exemption. Uh, the administration will, by notice in the Gazette, uh, withdraw uh, this exemption. Upon implementation of um, this uh, order, a license would be required for using this um, uh, bandwidth. There will be a three-year transitional period to allow those um, selling, importing, and exporting um, these um, apparatus um, to uh, get used to the new situation. This uh, will not come into effect straight away. Uh, there will be a day to be gazetted in in future for implementation. Mr. To. Right, this um, telecommunications apparatus exemption from licensing amendment order. I'd like to have a subcommittee. I'd like to find out how many households are still using this um, system. Uh, there, there are not that many people using this, but there may still be uh, tens of thousands of people using it. Right, a subcommittee has been suggested by Mr. To, uh, who would like to join. All right, and there will be. Um, Circulation uh, by the Secretariat. Right, legal advisor, can you um, finish the report first? Part two uh, refers to the um, commencement notices. Uh, one has to do with allowances for jurors, uh, the other ones are the witnesses allowances for, um, for um, criminal procedure and coroner's court and the house committee considered this and, and no subcommittee was formed and although members expressed support uh, for them. All right then, do you see the need for a subcommittee? If not, then uh, we're going to have a subcommittee on telecommunications uh, order. Just a reminder that the deadline for amendment is um, the June, uh, January uh, February the 6th, um, if extended, uh, it will be uh, 27th of uh, February. Business for the Council meeting uh, of January the 9th, um, there are all the questions uh, there. Bills uh, for first and second reading. The first one is Stamp Duty Amendment Bill 2012, and that uh, has to do with the BSD for first reading. The next one is the Indian Revenue and STEM Duty Legislation Alternative Bond Schemes Amendment Bill 2012. And that has to do with uh, the Islamic Bond 
and these are for first reading on January the ninth. We will consider them、uh, at the House Committee on January the eleventh. No government motion, members' motions. There are a couple of them.、Uh, the first one is a motion under Article seventy three nine of the Basic Law. Uh, which is jointly initiated by 27 members and will be moved by Mr. Long Kwok Hong. The wording of、um, the motion has been circulated to members beforehand. Under Rule 36.5 of the Rules of Procedure, each member may only speak once in the debate, and the speaking time will be 15 minutes. However, the mover、uh, will speak twice、uh, for up to 15 minutes each. Any questions? Next, there are two more motions.、Uh, one on the comprehensive review on MPF、uh, to be moved by Mr. Tenkapio.、Uh, the next one is、um, safeguarding the rule of law and judicial independence by Mr. Dennis Kwok. Moving on next to the business for the council meeting on January the sixteenth. 2013,、uh, the Chief Executive's policy address. The policy address will be delivered on January the 16th. As regards the agenda items、uh, relating to the motion debate or the policy address to be held at Council meeting on 30th and 31st of January and 1st of February, will be dealt with at the House Committee on January the 18th. Um, there are five items of subsidiary legislation. The period of amendment、uh, will expire on January the sixteenth.、Uh, for members who would like to speak,、uh, please、uh, let the secretariat know by five p.m. on Tuesday, January the eighth. Next,、um, the chief executive's、um, question and answer session on January the seventeenth.、Um, uh, it will take place from two thirty to four p.m. The C will answer members' questions on his policy address. The next one is a report of bills committees and subcommittees. The、um, competition ordinance commencement notice 2012.、Uh, in my capacity as chairman, I'd like to bring members up to date.、Uh, the subcommittee has completed、um, its scrutiny. Uh, and submitted a report. The commencement notice is about、um, the creation of a competition commission and a competition tribunal, so that、um, the competition commission will be able to prepare guidelines and mount a consultation and publicity, and also for the judiciary to make rules and procedures for the tribunal to make preparation for its、um, operation. The subcommittee notes that、um, the implementation will be a phased one.、Um, the publication of the, the legal notice will be the first step.、Uh, when the guidelines and procedures are in place, which will take about a year's time,、uh, then all the clauses relating to anti-competition behaviour and penalty will come into force. The subcommittee supports、uh, the commencement notice and will not move any amendments. Just a reminder that、um, the deadline for amendment is、um, January the sixteenth, and the deadline for giving notice of amendments is、um, January the ninth. Position of bills committees and subcommittees: as of、um, January the third, there are four subcommittees under House committee,、um, and two subcommittees on other, and six subcommittees on policy issues under panels that are currently in action. Any questions?、Uh, I've got no OB item. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.